Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Cover to Cover. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can open more boxes together throughout the year and, you know, talk books and talk life. If this is not your first time on my channel, thank you so much for coming back. If you haven't hit that subscribe button either, you should. <laughs> I'm sorry that this has taken so long to get another video out. We've had so much stuff going on in my life, at my house and my family. Um, we've had a few weddings, so our weekends have been full. We are also remodeling our upstairs bathroom. Um, so that has pretty much taken up all of my free time outside of work. <laughs> so, I am very excited that we can finally dive into another book box um, unboxing. This is called The Blessed Monsters Biddy Beacon Box. And this is a special edition box from Beacon Book Box. Just this packaging alone is amazing for this book series. I have read um, the first two books in this series, so I'm really, really excited to get this book and to get all the goodies that go along with it and to also be able to finish the series. I've been waiting probably a month and a half to get this box in the mail, so I'm very excited to finally be able to open it. So, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what this box cost. So, this box cost $27.99, okay, just for this box. And then if you add shipping on top of it, shipping is $9.99. So, for this Biddy Beacon box, I paid $37.98. So, without further ado, let's get her open. Okay, here's a little preview of the inside of the box. And the first thing I'm seeing is just um, the same thing that was on the cover. So this is your spoiler card. Um, it has the same design on the spoiler card as it had on the front of the box, um, which is still really, really pretty, and I think it goes well with the book series. So, very obviously, the first thing in here is our book. <laughs> so, this is Blessed Monsters. This is the third installment of the Something Dark and Holy series by Emily A. Duncan. Um, I have read the first two books. They're upstairs in my bookshelf. Um, and I love how this one, because if you look at the spine, it goes directly along with the first two books that I have, which makes me very happy because I love when they work together. So, just a little bit of a preview. Here we have the front of the book. And again, we have the spine, which is really, really nice, and I love the foil on it. I always love foil. And we have the back. Let's see what it looks like if we take the dust cover off. Oh, that's nice. So here we have the front of the book without the dust cover, and it says everything ends in chaos. Ooh. I like it a lot. <laughs> Here we have the spine, it's just black with the silver writing on it, and the back is nothing. Okay, so let's put her back in her dust jacket. Let's do a read of the little preview into this book. So it says, The startling conclusion to the instant New York Times best-selling Something Dark and Holy trilogy. The girl, the monster, the prince, the queen. They broke the world, and some things can never be undone. In Emily A. Duncan's Blessed Monsters, they must unite once more to fight the dark chaos they've unleashed. But is it already too late? And then I really, really like the design they included in the inside cover of this book. Um, I think it goes well with the book. <laughs> if you've read them, it goes well with the book. So, that is our book. Let's see what else we have in here. We do have a little enamel pin, which... Y'all know I love enamel pins, um, and it is so cute. It's a little book, and it says, There was music and moths. And it has a moth and a little red book. Very nice. And this was designed by S.J. Wonderlands with a Z. 
I'm very excited to add this to my pin collection. What else do we have in here? Okay, something in plastic. It looks like a dust cover, which if, it, if this is a dust cover, it's gonna make me very happy. Okay, so we have a dust cover. Yay. <laughs> and it's very nice and it says there are only ashes after a fire and it's from Ruthless, Ruthless Gods. It's very nice. I am so excited to be able to use this. Summer is coming up. We're going to be going to the beach and on vacations and stuff. So this will get probably a lot of use. <laughs> so just a very nice dust cover. Does the book fit in here? So this is a pretty big book. I would hope that it would fit. <coughs> there we go. Okay, so the book does fit in the dust cover, which I would hope it would since it was in the box with this book. <laughs> um, it took a little bit of shimmying. So if you ended up with this book and this dust cover, you gotta shimmy it in. <laughs> So I'm going to take it back out. <laughs> all in all, very happy with this dust cover, very happy with this pin, very happy with this book. <laughs> this really nice book sleeve was designed by Vanita's underscore art. Okay, so the next thing I see is the signed book plate, which makes me very happy. We can go ahead and put this in the book. Signed book. Last thing I'm seeing is this. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, I love when they do this. So here is just a little card on the front, but on the back we have our author letter. And y'all know that this is going to go directly into my book, um, and it's going to stay there forever and always because I love the connection between the author and the book that I can get through these book boxes. Um, which is one of the main reasons that I buy these boxes, as you guys probably know by now. I'm going to read that later. <laughs> Remember, this is um, called a bitty book box. Um, it's just supposed to be that hangover cure um, after you read a book and you're sad that it's over. <laughs> so the last thing I'm seeing in the box is this art print, which is very, very pretty. And I think this is Nadia. Yeah, this is Nadia. <laughs> so it's very nice. I love the um, nice fluorescence of the background picture. Like these little, what are those? The flowers? Yeah, so I love the fluorescence of these flowers in the back of this art print. Um, I think it sort of makes it look like she's 3D a little bit, like jumping off the page at me, um, and I like it a lot. So this will probably also end up right in the book with the author letter, um, just because I like to keep things together. So this is going to end up in the book with the author letter. This art print was designed by Witchlings Art. So that is everything that was in our um, Biddy Beacon box for the Blessed Monsters book. I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really happy. I'm very happy that they included an enamel pin. I'm very happy that I finally got a book sleeve in one of my subscription boxes. And I really love this art print. So, I think all in all this was a great buy for $37, I think what I said. Um, I think this is a really great buy. If you love this series, you can go to Beacon Book Box and I'll uh, add their link in the description so you can go ahead and buy it if you want. Um, I know that they still have some left because I just checked. <laughs> Beacon is seems to be a really nice company. Um, their uh, staff is really responsive. Um, I was getting a little worried that I hadn't gotten a tracking number or a shipping label yet for the this box. Um, and when I emailed them, they pretty much automatically emailed me back saying, that it was their mistake and it would be going out that day or the next day. 
Um, so yes, while it did take me about a month and a half to get this box in the mail, um, I'm really happy with what's in it and how nice everything is and um, the responsiveness of their team. So I recommend Beacon Book Box. What was your favorite um, thing in this box? Go ahead and let me know. I'm curious. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what was your favorite, what was your least favorite. I know there's not much to pick from, but we always do it, so I have to ask. 